to your graphic shoes. My name is Shadi Adimu. I call myself a chef. I am the CEO of Top Major. One common characteristic about entrepreneurs is passion. As an entrepreneur, you have to have passion for what you're doing because with passion, you can achieve anything. On today's show, I'll be speaking with a one-time pharmacist who turned his passion into a business. With the images he brings to you, photographer Damilari Rockefeller Daudu inspires you to leave outside the box. Welcome to Spotlight. A one-time pharmacist who turned into a professional quintessential photographer, it was obvious that there was something supernatural about this gift and the circumstances surrounding it. Considering he had never done anything in photography before, Dami Larry took pictures for free for about a year and still practiced his profession as a pharmacist. Dami Larry is an extraordinary talent and one of Nigeria's most sought-after wedding photographers. His uncanny ability to capture those unforgettable moments and lasting impressions is unparalleled in the Nigerian wedding terrain. My name is Damla Rockefeller Daudu. I'm the creative director of Rockefeller Studios. Rockefeller Studios is a wedding and lifestyle photography studio based in Lagos, Nigeria. We basically do weddings, lifestyle portraiture, family portraits, newborn, maternity sessions. It started in 2010 where we traveled for a family vacation and the, and the Holy Ghost asked me to buy a camera. So I discussed with my wife and she felt, it seems you had so much money that she wouldn't mind borrowing my money and when we get back to Nigeria she'll pay me back. But I told her the Holy Spirit told me to buy the camera and she said, if the Holy Ghost had asked you to buy a camera, I'm not there, go and buy the camera. So I bought the camera and I'm getting back to Nigeria in my church. There used to be a guy that takes pictures for us, we normally pay him to take pictures. On getting back to church with the camera, the guy asked, how did you know I was going to leave, that today is going to be my last day in church? And I was like, I didn't know. The Holy Ghost just asked me to buy a camera. And he said, that means the Holy Ghost knew he was going to leave and he asked me to buy a camera. So he knew that it was actually an instruction of the Holy Ghost. So I started taking pictures in church. So that was how I started. What other resources you know, did you require you know, after you got your first camera, talking about your studio, equipment and all that? When I left paid employment, uh, the only, I only had equipment talking about my camera. My camera has some few lenses. So it wasn't as if I had one money I had saved somewhere that I was going to use to fund my dream. But I had a camera, I had about two lenses, and that was all I started with. So what kind of photography are you into? What are your products and services offered here at Rockefeller Studio? We do weddings and lifestyle photography. Now, that has to do with family portraits, has to do with newborn sessions, maternity sessions, and weddings. That's pre-wedding and engagement sessions, weddings. We officially launched in November 2011. There's been about two and a half years right now. So considering how you started with taking pictures for free, um, where is your business now presently at? How would you rate the growth? Uh, you know, it's, we, it, we are not where we want to be right now, but we are very far from where we used to be. So the Holy Ghost has moved us from where we were to, add to this present level. And right now we get clients from Kenya, we get clients from Ghana, from US, from UK. So the Holy Ghost has actually elevated us. Yeah, my client base are scattered all around the country and outside the country. Sometimes I get inquiries that perhaps sometimes I might need to probably ship to people outside the country their products. My client base, people in Nigeria. Then also there's something else I found out. I realized that my client base cuts across from both people that have money and people that don't really have so much money. Now, some clients actually love photography and they're willing to spend everything they have to have the best. When a client comes to you and they have a certain budget that you're working with and they tell you, you know, how do you make it affordable for them or make it, um, how do you work with their budget? When a client comes to us and they have, you know, most times during weddings, people have budgets. But I also realized that after 
the food is out, the venue is being paid for, and people come there, eat, and leave that day. The only memories you have are going to be the pictures you're going to be left with. So I try to make them realize that pictures are very important. But despite that, if the budget is still very tight, we either use Damla Daudu or use the Elekna. We work with them according to the budget they have. So far, it's going to fit in to what we offer to our package. It's going to fit into the package. We try to help them with the budget they have. Now, they cater to those clients that may not be able to afford the products that we give out at the Rock, Rock the Fella Studios that we will do. But they will still get products, that, they're still going to get quality products at an affordable price. What is your price range like for either Rock the Fella or Zella Photography? Now, for weddings by Damlai Daudu, it starts from 400,000 air. Now, for Zella Legna, for the Damlai Daudu, it has food day coverage, it has the, the wedding albums made by Graphy, it has the frames, it has the pre wedding sessions, it has, it has, there's a lot in there. Now, for Zella Legna, Zella Legna is a subsidiary of Rock the Fella Studios. So basically, it's still Rock the Fella Studios that is doing the job. They're just employees of Rock the Fella Studios. They are start from only than 50,000 euro for a wedding. Now, for our family portraiture, it starts from 60,000 euro. That's for mini sessions. Their main session starts from 100,000. That's for family portraiture. Okay, we have to go on a break now. When we return, we'll still be speaking with the creative director of Rock the Fella Studios. So don't go away. Welcome back. You're still on to Spotlight, a program that showcases young entrepreneurs and the impact that they are making. And I'm still with the creative director of Rock the Fella Studios. Okay, you also have an online magazine and a blog. Can you tell us about your online magazine? I have an online magazine where clients, ready, we have the one for weddings, we are, we are working on the ones for family portraiture. When a client comes in contact with us and they probably make inquiries, we send them the wedding brochure. That has all what they need to know about Rock Fella Studios. When you look at photography in Nigeria and Africa, what would you say is the growth like? Are there more investors you know, in this um, industry and what is the future for this industry in this part of the world? For photography in Africa, I, I don't think investors, have, uh, I don't think they really entered, they really delved into photography as an art form really. But I noticed that there are myriads of photographers out there that are doctors, that are engineers, that are lawyers, that are pharmacists. And what they do right now is photography. Photography is big right now. So now I mean, it's not just the artisans that are into photography, you also have people that are well educated, people that have their masters and they've delved into photography because of the passion they have for the job. And for that, I think the investors have better start looking into photography because photography is going to change the art form in this country. Now, what challenges did you face? I mean, leaving paid employment and starting your own business. It's been, it's been, it's been a lovely ride. The Holy Ghost has been faithful. But I noticed that, you know, sometimes you, you find some clients, you might need to educate them about what you do. But they still equate us to artisans, to the photographers of and come let me take your picture during parties. And sometimes you don't want to pay for what you are offering them. So most times you have to educate the clients, make them see the value in what we are giving them. Because the truth of the matter is this, we are you are actually creating, we are we are freezing a moment in time that will never come again for them. And these are the memories that are gonna last a lifetime. The challenge we've been having is in terms of clients paying what you are what, because you have to educate them about what you do so that they will know the different processes that it, that it takes to get to producing an image and actually creating memories for them. What success principles you know, do you follow that work for you and distinguish you amongst others? Yeah, you know, Pastor always says that whatever is worth doing is worth being trained for. And I realized that if I want to be one of the best in the world, then I also have to learn from some of the best names in the world. So I've attended trainings in Nigeria, some, um, some facilitated by Nigerian photographers, some facilitated by American photographers, some facilitated by British photographers. So basically for me, it's be able to get to know what they know and so that the, the learning curve can be shortened for me. So I've attended so many workshops 
webinars, even some we are online webinars, webinars, workshops, just to improve on photography, so I can improve my knowledge on photography. Okay, so tell us, what is the future of Rockefeller Studio? How do you see this company in the next five years, ten years? What is your plan for this company? Well, uh, I think I had a saying once that the future is so bright, I need, I need to get the sunglasses. So I'm, I'm not be wearing sunglasses here right now, but I'm actually wearing it inside because the, the future is that bright. For young entrepreneurs that want to come into the photography industry, first of all, don't do it because of the money. Do it because you have a passion for the job, passion for photography, passion to create memories and relive moments for people. Then secondly, if you have to do it, then you have to learn what it takes. You know, there's no way you enter a business that you don't know what it takes to run that business. First of all, you have to be trained in photography, what it takes to be a good photographer, what constitutes a good photograph and the likes. You have to go for training, you might have to understudy some well-known photographers out there before you start yours. So I, will, so I will not make a mismatch of what, whatever you are doing. Then for the artisans out there, I know there are several of them that probably they've been doing it for years, maybe like 10, 15 years. You have to realize that there's something they call mandatory continuing education. If you do not, if you do not educate yourself, learn the new concept that applies in the world of wedding photography or other kind of photography, if you don't learn it, you will be left behind. You know, you just find that the, the train has passed and you're left behind. So you may have to learn new skills, go for new courses, there are courses that you can do online, or maybe you can even understudy some other photographers that are doing what the best in the world are doing right now in Nigeria. Understudy them, learn from them, and charge appropriately. I'm sure the sky will not just be your limit, it will just be a starting point for you. When you're passionate about what you do, you'll be successful at it. And who knows, the God-given opportunities that will come your way. Damilare Dawodu's story is quite unique. He clearly heard from God. And today, he's fulfilling a call of creating beautiful memories of events in pictures. Bye for now.